Got a great event to tell you about now. It's a weekend of good music and it's all for a great cause. Orange Army Bluegrass Festival raising money to support cancer patients. And I just learned that money goes directly to help those patients and that can be costly care. So we're so glad to have with us Robert Porter and Dave Carroll to tell us about the event and the mission behind it. Thank you all so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Yes. Thank you um, well, this festival has a very important mission behind it, and this one's very special to you, right? Uh, spe Correct. Specifically for your wife, Sheila. Why is for, that? Well, um, a couple years ago, Sheila got diagnosed with breast cancer, and um, a lot of our bluegrass friends we, we've been hanging out with for years mm -hmm. um, put on a bluegrass festival for her, and she said, uh, I'll do it. I'll, I'll take the money but we've got to figure out how to pay it forward. So here comes Lord Jarvis. Well, and I bet that meant a lot to you and to her to know that you had that, yep. com that community support behind you. And I just, that says a lot about her, that she wasn't yes. necessarily thinking about herself, but that she was thinking about others. And now you do this to, to give back to those um, and try to help them through what is a very difficult diagnosis. So uh, we know some great music in store for us, but also, what, what else do you have going on at the festival? Well, at the festival, we've got, uh, we've got the mammogram bus coming from uh, up here in Ashland. Okay. So they're going to do free mammograms. Um, we have a lot of different medical information mm -hmm. for people with cancer. But our big thing is we're doing a $50,000 raffle. We're going to give away, <laughs> look at them eyes, $50,000. Wow. Yeah. And how, I mean, how were you able to do that? Is, is it through community support that you're able to? No, we sold 850 tickets. Wow. And here we are. So we get 35,000 of it to go to the cancer patients. And uh, so it's a big, it's a big plus for us. Big and, plus. and this isn't going to organizations. I mean, we know there are a lot of great places out there that, that help patients that are dealing with cancer, but you all, I mean, you give that money, it goes directly to them. Directly to them. And it's, and it's for what their needs are. Yeah. It's not for anything but groceries, gas, sure. chemo, whatever. That's what, they're, that's what the money's for. Okay, so let, let's hear a little bit more about the festival. Who's, who's on tap to perform? Well, there is a band called Hammertown that I happen to play in. That are, yeah. we're, 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 <laughs> we're honored to be the host band for the festival. We were last year, we are this year. Uh, we're gonna be closing things out on Saturday night at 9.30, it's a big party. But there's a great lineup of music all weekend long, starting on Thursday. Just a few of the acts, like Caleb Daugherty, who is one of the greatest singers in the world in, in this business, sings a lot of Keith Whitley music as well. Uh, a group called Breaking Grass, Throwdown Thursday, Billy Droves. The list goes on and on. You can find all this on the website, which is orangearmybluegrass.com, or, or on the Facebook page as well. But starting on Thursday afternoon all the way through Saturday night, a lot of great music and a lot of love at that place. What does it mean to you to be involved in something like this? Uh, it, it means everything. You know, since I met uh, these guys a few years back, I mean, they became just family to me. And to see Sheila go through the ordeal that she went through, she's the bravest person that I've ever known. For someone to be in the middle of volunteering to help with something else and for her to be diagnosed and decide that she wants to take her experience, everything that she knows, and help as many people that she can help, people that she doesn't even know. So that's, she wants this to be her legacy. So that's what this is all about. And that tells me, look, people around here, it, like that's that giving nature and that loving nature of people that live around this area. And I love that and, and love the mission of what you're doing. Remind our viewers, when and where is this happening? How do they attend? So it'll be in Olive Hill, Kentucky at the uh, Carter County Shrine Park. Uh, we start on Thursday morning, I think it's about 1.30, and we'll have music all the way through, um, plumb up till Saturday night. Um, it's gonna be a good show. We'll Everybody. have the raffle drawing, it's gonna be live, Facebook Live on the okay. stage at seven o'clock, it'll be from seven to 8.30. Yep. Also, I'll throw this in, tomorrow we're having a big car show, a cornhole tournament on site, and a free c country music concert that starts at 4.30, it's free to the public. It's and that's tomorrow? To that's starting tomorrow. tomorrow, yes. Bluegrass Festival's next Thursday through Saturday. Come out tomorrow and hang out and enjoy some free country music. Well, give your best to, to um, or our best to your wife. Uh, certainly we're thinking about her and your family during that journey and what you're doing to help others is incredible. And thank you for putting on the event and for telling our viewers about it. Hopefully we can help you out with that. Here's an arm bandit. Oh, we give away. Well, thank you so much. Uh, breast cancer is something that has touched my family, and um, so it you touches know, everybody. It does. Cancer is 
this non-discriminate. It gets everybody. We look forward to a day, hopefully, when we know that there's a treatment and we don't have to worry about that anymore. But for now, it's people like this that are helping out and we can in turn help out in that mission with this upcoming event. And thank you so much for, for doing it and thank for you coming guys in to for tell having us about us. it. Sure thing. Thank you. Yep.